All right, if you're one of the few Linux users that leaves their bedroom, maybe you go outside to a coffee shop to get some work done. Yeah, I'm one of those people who will order a coffee and then just sit at your coffee shop for four hours. Don't judge me too hard. But if you're out and about with your laptop, then you probably want some kind of screen locker on your computer. Just for a little bit extra security so people aren't snooping around in your laptop if you need to leave your laptop there for five minutes. So in this video, I'll show you how you can set up a simple display locker on your computer and have it automatically lock your screen whenever your computer suspends, whenever you close your laptop lid, whenever you leave it idle for 30 minutes. So I'll show you how to do all that. And in this video, I'm going to be using this display locker called S-Lock. Maybe you could pronounce it Slock, but that sounds kind of disgusting. So let's just go with S-Lock. And you don't have to use this specifically. This is just the very most basic screen locker that there is. So let me just show you how it looks. It's literally just a blank screen with a color. You start typing and it changes color. And if you type the wrong password, it turns red. That is literally all there is to this. And so that's what I'm going to be using here. But if you want to use something that looks a little bit better, maybe you're used to something on Mac OS or Windows that looks a little bit nicer, you can use something like better lock screen here. But for me, I don't really need to put an anime girl on my lock screen. So I'm just sticking with this most basic example. But you can still follow along. If you're not interested in S lock, you can probably just skip this section. I'm sure I'll have timestamps in the description for this. But anyway, if you do want to install S-Lock, this very simple display locker, what you can do is you can clone it from the repository on sucklist.org. So let's just bring this up a little bit and you can just git clone this. I've already actually done this, so I'm not going to do it again. I already have the repo right here. And so inside here, you'll see a bunch of source code if you've never used any Sucklist software before, don't worry too much. This is not complicated at all. Let me just show you what to do. And literally the only thing that you need to get this running is to change the config file right here. So config.def.h. And by default, I already changed this, but by default it's going to be nobody right here. So just change this to your user. Change this to the group that your user is in. And then finally, just put in whatever colors you want right here. So I just put in a few nicer colors than the defaults that they had here. This is uh, the default color it'll show. This is when you're typing. This is if you type the wrong password. And so just save that. Uh, let me just remove this config.h file here. Okay. And so now we can just sudo make install right here. And once it's finished in one second, you should now be able to run S-Lock. No additional arguments or work needed. Just type S-Lock and you now have a working lock screen. So that's very simple. Obviously you can also put in some patches right here. If for instance, you wanted um, it to change color whenever you hit the caps lock key. Maybe that happens to you a lot. You type in caps lock by accident, but it doesn't really happen to me. So you can put in a few different patches but this is not supposed to be like a suckless software tutorial. So if, if you do want to patch this, I'm, I'm not going to go over it in this video. Maybe I'll make a separate video on how to patch and work with suckless software. But for now, let's just go with what we have here. And so now we have our S lock right here. Let me just clear all this out. And if you want, you can just map this to any key binding. For me, I'm using, what is it called again? SXHKD. That is a mouthful, but I'm using this. So let me just go down to here. And of course you can just put it under any key binding, just S lock. And whenever you hit that key combination, it'll just lock your screen for you. And if that's all you want, then you are officially done with this tutorial. But there's probably more that you want, like you want it to automatically lock whenever your computer suspends, your laptop lid closes, something like that. So what we can do is, let me just close this out. What we can do is we can create a new systemd service and we can do that by going into slash etsy slash systemd slash system and inside here we're going to want to make a new file and it's going to be called let's see suspend 
at.service. Open that up and I have a service right here and it's basically telling it before the computer goes to sleep or suspends then we want to run this service and in this environment the main display for this user and we'll specify the user later but this percentage sign I is just getting the user that we're going to pass to it later exec start is going to be the location of your screen locker in my case slock if you're not sure where it is you can just run where slock and finally down here is a sleep command and we're just waiting for one second so first we're running the screen locker and then waiting for one second and then suspending the computer because if you don't wait for one second sometimes it'll suspend before it actually finishes locking the screen and whenever you open your laptop lid maybe you'll see a brief flash of your desktop before it actually locks the screen so that's why we have this sleep for one second command right here and then finally just put in this wanted by sleep .target. I just copied most of this script from the arch wiki and I'll probably leave a link in the description so you can just copy and paste this into yours but anyway once you're done with that let's just save that and we can just enable this service right away by just running sudo systemctl enable dash dash now this is so it just starts now and not just whenever you restart your system and then suspend at eric or this is supposed to be your username so the user for this computer that you're using right now you put that there and then dot service so once we run this then it'll start it and then anytime your computer suspends then it'll automatically run slock or whatever display locker you put in there so by default I think on arch at least this is whenever you close your laptop and we can also call it ourselves if we want so we put a keyboard shortcut in here before uh, let me just open that up again right here so we change this to s lock but if we also want the computer to suspend at the same time that it locks the screen we can actually replace this with system ctl suspend so now whenever we push our hotkey it'll also suspend the computer as well and since we added the s lock to the suspend it'll run s lock as well so it'll lock the screen and then suspend the computer all right so that's pretty nice but there's one more thing we should do and for me i wanted my screen to automatically lock after 30 minutes of inactivity so if i'm doing nothing if i'm touching nothing then i just want it to lock after 30 minutes because i don't want it to waste a bunch of laptop battery so we can do that by using this script called x idle hook right here and if you don't have it installed it is in the Arch repository, so you can run uh, whatever your AUR manager is and just install xidlehook. I've already done that. And so xidlehook is really useful because you can pass in a whole bunch of different arguments into it as well. So what this is saying is uh, we want to run slock and we want it to be on a timer of three seconds obviously you probably want this to be longer so let's say something like 1800 seconds which is 30 minutes and not one full screen so maybe you're watching a movie and you don't want it to lock your screen after 30 minutes and not one audio so if you're playing audio you probably don't want your computer to suspend and then just leave this argument here at the end you don't need to have an argument here but it's just expecting one more argument so you can just put that in at the end and so we can start this right now and then in 30 minutes it'll lock our screen but you probably want to have this start up every single time you start your session so for me I'm using BSPWM but you can add this to whatever startup script that your window manager is running so in my case it's going to be in config slash BSPWM and this is just my startup script right here so starting a whole bunch of services and I also put in this x idle hook command basically the one I just showed you except instead of s lock I'm just running system ctl suspend so it suspends and locks my computer after 30 minutes right here so that's basically it for how to set up a screen locker using Arch Linux but if you want a little extra security so technically this screen locker can be bypassed say if somebody closes out your x session or if they switch to a different TTY 
these are pretty technical things, so most people just walking by your laptop in a coffee shop are not gonna have any idea how to do this. So it's probably not worth it. Screen lockers are only really useful for keeping like prying eyes away. But if you really wanna go the extra, the extra step, maybe you're on the run from the government or something, then you can add these options right here to your xorg.conf. And this is basically just making it so that they can't kill your X session or switch to a different TTY. But I wouldn't really recommend this for most people. And if you don't want to go through all this, then you can go look up how to modify your xorg.conf and add these. But I'm not really going to go into this in this video. I just wanted to let you be aware of these. So if you want absolute perfect security, you can go the extra step. But I'm just not going to do it in this video because I don't see it's worth it. Not to mention that you might want to kill the X server or switch to a different TTY yourself if you're troubleshooting something on your computer. So do keep that in mind as well. All right, so that's going to be it on how to set up your lock screen. And now you can go out in public and confuse people with your weird single color lock screen, in my case at least. If you want an anime girl, go right ahead. I'm not going to judge you.